you were one of the first people in India to have watched the movie Gandhi yes. before anybody else did. Take, I mean, how and take us through his life a little bit. So my dad uh, had worked uh, as a producer in Hindi cinema, of course, mm -hmm. but he had become the touch point for a lot of the Hollywood um, productions that used to come in to India to film. Mm -hmm. Far Pavilions, eventually later on Jungle Book that was shot in Mehboob, mm -hmm. but also Gandhi. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he was like the line producer that yeah. time, uh, you know, on the Indian portions mm -hmm. of Gandhi. Uh, my uncle at that time didn't understand the relevance or the cinematic importance of that. One fine day, I'm told that because of some permissions, mm. we had to see the movie and Richard Attenborough, the director of the film, mm. Rashid Abbasi, my, who was actively, he was my father's production support, mm. I was the, very close to Richard Attenborough by then. Mm. And uh, my father, my mother, and then I was called in to see Gandhi on the VHS before the world saw it. Mm. Because of whatever, and I'm sitting there now, I, I'm look, slapping myself today, I'm like, no, where are camera phones when you need them? Mm. I mean, you know, where are like, where is the paparazzi when you want them? Like, there was nobody there. It was in my apartment in Malabar Hill. I've seen Gandhi with Richard Attenborough in my crazy two by two drawing room on VHS, all struck by the movie. And when next day to school, I saw a film called Gandhi, and nobody had heard of it, you know, like at that time. Who in school would have known like Gandhi? Gandhi they were like, oh, great, you saw a documentary, you saw that. Right. You know, I saw a film called Gandhi. And you know, there's the a British, movies act, ever made, the British yeah. actor called Ben Kingsley plays the lead part. Rohini Hathangri is in Gandhi. And I'm like saying all this till it finally released and the world saw it. And I remember school took us for a trip uh, to see Gandhi. It was like, you know, like part of our. Um, uh, academic agenda um, because we studied Gandhi so much in depth yeah. uh, and I was preening like a peacock uh, because I had seen the movie but of course I was preening alone nobody else was bothered everybody swept by the film but like it's things like this that you feel you wish you had archived right right so your dad got into movies how like he also had a business of his own right I mean he, he got into movies uh, through a really um, so basically my f my family business mm. uh, was um, much like Dhan Lakshmi Laddu's was a Mithai business. No, shit, seriously. Yeah, yeah. So my family business was Nanking Sweets. Okay. In Delhi. Hmm. And um, there was a point of time like where my father was much more, he was a photographer. Hmm. So my dadi, my, who we called Mataji, told him that you're, you know, you should go. This is not for you. Hmm. You go, you take the train uh, and just go to Bombay. And hmm. he had some cousin there. The first thing he did is when he, when he landed into Bombay, um, there was Times of India opposite the yeah, opposite yeah. VT. Yeah. He went into Times of India, met a gentleman called Mr. Dubey and became an intern to his photography, which took him to the sets of Mughal Azam and other things. Wow. And from there he became like a ground manager. Then he worked himself up to being a production manager to finally production controller to working for Nafketan Films for mm. over 12 years, mm. to being the only rare person who got front credit for production controller. Mm. You know, everybody in the industry knew him. He was very popular. He was very loved. And he was very good at what he did. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.